The Dillon Ice Castles return for an encore winter. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, it's election season, and tomorrow is the first Summit County Candidate and Issues Forum. Come to Frisco Community and Senior Center tomorrow for the debates, including Sheriff Candidates Derek Woodman and Jamie Fitzsimons, and State House hopefuls Julie McCluskey and Mike Mason. You'll also get the pros and cons for ballot item 1A, an $8.8 million mill levy question. Doors open at 5 p.m. with a meet and greet at 5.30. The forum begins at 6. That forum is free and open to the public at the Senior Center in Frisco. The Dillon Ice Castles are back for an encore. The installation brought hundreds of tons of ice to downtown Dillon last winter to huge acclaim, but when it left, town officials discovered extensive damage to grass in Town Park. But it doesn't matter. Opening day is set for December in time for holiday crowds, weather pending. Ski Magazine released its annual Best of issue this month, including results of a reader survey, and there is not a single Colorado resort in the Best Snow in the West list. Grand Targhee, Snowbird, and Alta took top three. So how about the most challenging terrain? A Basin and Telluride barely made the top ten at nine and ten. Jackson Hole took first. But don't worry, Beaver Creek got its highest accolades, as always, for Best Grooming. Of the 67 featured resorts, 18 are on the Epic Pass and 23 are on the Icon Pass. It seems even animals can't find an affordable place to stay these days. The Steamboat Pilot reports a bear wandered into a condo complex Sunday afternoon and then left without issue. In Estes Park, wildlife officials are trying to trap a bear that walked through the lobby of the Stanley Hotel. That bear could be euthanized for other local run-ins. A dog outside Aspen was killed when it cornered a bear under a deck, and in Boulder, security footage caught a mountain lion prowling the front door of a lodge. Officials say this is the time of year bears search for food before hibernating. Remember to keep trash locked and don't leave food or your pets outside after dark. It's tarantula season in the Arkansas River Valley. This time every year, Out There Colorado reports thousands of male spiders roam the deserts outside La Junta looking for mates. It takes 10 years for a tarantula to mate, and after they do, the male is usually eaten by the female. Today in roadwork news, crews are finished with repaving and striping on I-70 between Vail Pass and Officers Gulch. That work began in July and wrapped up in late September. Starting today, expect single lane closures on both sides of I-70 at Floyd Hill for bridge repair. Work begins at 7 p.m. In sports, the Rockies lost to the Dodgers yesterday 5-2 and today play the Cubs in the NL West wildcard game. First pitch is 6 p.m. on ESPN. The Broncos lost to the Chiefs on the final drive last night for Monday Night Football 27-24. The Broncos are now 2-2. Two and, two. and in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports, it's Rivalry Week and Summit High Boys Soccer kicks things off today with Battle Mountain at home. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.